I work uh, with many different choirs and many different organizations, and this is a very busy week, but as you know, the holiday season's for any musician, busy, busy time. Um, probably busy for most of you as well. So I was rushing over to get here uh, this afternoon, trying to get in time for our call, in the middle of the highway, coming from a part of town I don't normally come from, and I looked down at my GPS, and it has stopped working. <laughs> and so I don't know which exit I'm supposed to get off on, and I pause for a second, I kind of fuddle around a little bit, and finally able to get it to restart, comes back on, and it decides to tell me that it'll be a four and a half hour walk to get from the middle of the world on to found the sun. And I don't, I don't know that you know my intentions here. I was able to work it out and switch it out, and it was, it was fine, but it was a nice reminder that these little things we take for granted are actually incredibly complicated. I don't, I don't know if you know, but the way GPS works is there are satellites orbiting around the Earth constantly, giving a signal to that phone, tracking where your phone is on the highway in live time, telling you where to go, and updating in real time for traffic patterns based on all the other phones that are using GPS at the same time, and figuring out, oh, there's a crash ahead, you should redirect over here to this exit. It's pretty cool. In fact, the, the distance is so great between the satellites and where you are on Earth that it requires Einstein's theory of relativity to be able to account for the difference in the passage of time orbiting around the Earth versus being here on Earth. That's one of the proofs we have that Einstein was right, is that GPS wouldn't work if we didn't have the laws of relativity. So it, it's incredible because back a few generations ago, you would have had to travel across the United States and make a map yourself and then sell that. It would have cost you a small fortune to get a map of your small territory. We have them for free in our pocket now. And if it works 10% of the time, that's a miracle. It's amazing, and we should be so grateful for it. You just have to write a letter and have an actual man take your letter, ride a horse across the country, it was called the Pony Express for a reason, folks, and then hand off that letter a week later, you wait for your friend to write a letter, another week for them to ride all the way back to you, and now we can send it off with a little flick of our thumb. And when it doesn't go through and it says, error, text not delivered, ah, get out, stupid thing. We live at the peak of human civilization, and it is so easy not to be grateful. At this Christmas season, when we celebrate an incredible, wonderful, amazing miracle, I ask you to also be grateful for the small miracles in your life. The smile of a friend, the love of a family member, a song from someone who cares about you.